saw it differently than what you prepared for? No, I think we had a really good game plan. Um, we came out really physical in the beginning. Um, all the pressures were getting there. Um, I like the way we battled up front. We were able to stop the run. And we knew that was something that they wanted to assert early on. What's the sense of the locker room after this game? Are, are guys kind of just uh, saying, let's just get back at it? What's the feelings in there? Yeah, it definitely hurts losing like this. Um, I don't think that they're 32 points better than us. I think we kind of shot ourselves in the foot tonight. And um, you can't turn the ball over like that and not create turnovers and expect to be number 17 in the nation. You talked about the start you guys had. What, what happened? What changed? Um, there was kind of a lull, the sense of that on the sidelines once we had the um, pick six and the um, kickoff return. And um, it, was, it was tough to come back from that. Um, going into the half. Did they do anything in terms of, you know, scheme or plays or anything? Like no, no. We, everything that we saw, we prepared for. Um, we tried to run the press. We were able to stop that. And um, we knew they were a big screen team. We, we stopped them with TFLs early on. Especially in a game like this, do you guys feel the weight of kind of playing for Coach Helton and his future? Is that way on you guys? No. We want to win, too. What was Coach Hoffman's message after the game? Um, it was to, it was the mistakes that we made and the stuff that hurt us, and it was to, um, to learn from this and to move on. Is that harder to swallow as a loss where it feels so did as opposed to just getting the lead? Yeah, definitely. Can you guys make sure that the negativity outside doesn't just keep having that and stuff for yeah, I don't, I don't think it really will. I think this team's pretty resilient in that way. Um, I'll do my job as a leader to tell the younger guys to not listen to the outside noise. How have you done that? Just talking to them, you know, letting them know that it's, it's on us to, to stay focused and, and to come in Monday, you know, with no no slack, no, no fall off, no drop off. You mentioned some of the injury setbacks. How do you avoid doing the what if game and thinking back what could the season have been if things had gone differently health wise you can, you can never really do that and play that what if what if game um, we're expected to win no matter what we're SC um, we're, we're a big time program and we expect ourselves to come out victorious no matter circumstances you've been involved in a couple lawsuits like this not a lot but a couple Bama and Notre Dame how can it impact the psyche of the team um it only impacts us if we don't learn from it and move on. I guess, how do you learn from it? Watch the film and come back and work harder. Health-wise, how are you feeling after this game? hundred percent. I feel really good. I think I was able to cover the backs um, out of the backfield well and keep up with them and pursue the ball better than I have in the past. When there's turnovers, how does that affect the mindset of the defense? I mean, we, every time we go back out there, we try to get the ball back and give it in the offense's hands. The best place for us is on the sidelines, and we weren't able to win the turnover battle. They ended up scoring on eight constructive possessions. I know it was unfavorable at times with the offense and turnovers, but uh, why do you think that happened? That, that wasn't, you know, common. That's not normal for you guys. Yeah, I'd like to look at the film. Um, I think there was... It was kind of a lack in um, coverage at times and misassignments, but I'm not sure what caused that. Like when you, I mean, when you see the score and you guys are down by almost 40 at one point. Yeah. Is that shocking? Is it jarring? What, what is that? What is that take you? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't sit well with me. Um, I don't think it sits well with anybody. But the, it, it's the opportunity to fight till the end. You know, I don't think anybody really gave up and and sat down. Yeah. As far as leadership. Yeah, it's another guy with experience in the, in the back fit and the back set. And, um, it definitely affected us, um, but the like, next man up mentality. And it was just, it was just uh, I think it was a tough call. And the, the rest were calling it tight all night, so it, it sucks to lose him, definitely.